हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू जैकलिट एजुकेशनल चैनल सो हियर वी आर हैविंग द मेगा रिव्यू फॉर द यू जी सी नेट एनवायरमेंटल साइंस पेपर फॉर द डिसम्बर साइकिल विच वॉज कंडक्टेड ऑन फोर्टीन ऑफ डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सो वी विल नो द ओवरऑल व्यू अबाउट द एग्जाम एंड हुई कैंडिडेट्स विल बी बेनिफिटेड फ्रॉम द एग्जामिनेशन एंड वट आर द व्यूज फ्रॉम द कैंडिडेट्स आफ्टर हैविंग द ओवरऑल पोल फ्रॉम आवर टेलीग्राम ग्रुप सो विदाउट मच डिले लेट स्टार्ट टू डिज वीडियो so this is the overall view collected after getting the responses from lot of candidates which have appeared for this year's ugc net environment science paper first point is scrolling issue yes there was scrolling issue in the examination which has led to the less mark for many candidates which will lead to less mark because it was time consuming it was a kind of irritating thing which was already told to the nta and informed through the mail that to solve this issue but nta again repeatedly did the same mistake scrolling issue was there people were not able to read the passage completely again they were having the problem in time management so this thing should be avoided from the next time at least nta should look into this next thing was lengthy paper yes as the paper was lengthy the questions were not direct not simple we have to do certain analysis we have to go in depth if we are having in depth knowledge then only we were able to answer the questions so in that way also many of the candidates they have missed the question because the paper was lengthy so they have missed many questions so that is also not a good sign next thing is that which everybody is telling that difficult data interpretation yes di in paper 1 was very difficult and most of them were telling omg so this is the thing which is coming every time they are having the data interpretation level increasing every time more statistical more analytical it is also causing difficulties for the candidates next thing difficulty in statistics and calculation so it is not only about the data interpretation for other numericals also the stats were of high level and calculation were not easy next thing is out of syllabus question yes many of the candidates were telling that there were questions which were not at all present in the syllabus of ugc net environmental science yes there will be few questions which will be out of the syllabus every time but if this time there are more that kind of question then it is also not a good sign next thing is that geography geology and oceanography these three areas questions were maximum so many questions came from here this is that geography geology oceanography and rocks kind of these questions were many questions asked in this exam next is paper 2 rc was also difficult yes the reading comprehension for 10 questions which are asked in paper 2 were also not easy they were difficult the answers were not found in the passage directly they were also of difficult level or moderate level we can say next is lot of assertion and reasoning based question so they were also time consuming because we have to analyze each statement and then we have to go for the answer so overall view about the exam after going through this i would say that exam was from moderate to hard level it was not easy to moderate it will go from moderate to hard level as per the reviews which i have received now but next thing i will be telling after your response sheet are out because i will be able to see the questions then only i can conclude what type of difficulty was there in this exam let's move on to the next slide so here comes the poll which was conducted in our telegram page that is learn for the environment if you haven't joined you should join because we will start the daily quiz soon so the link is provided in the description so in the poll maximum candidates they opted for this option that is both paper 1 and paper 2 was difficult so almost 620 votes were there and 54 percentage of candidates they gave their review that both the papers were difficult but i would say that here you can see that 28% they said both papers are moderate 10 papers also said that paper 2 was moderate paper 1 was easy so if we take this thing also 28 10% that they are saying that the paper was of moderate level but 50% are telling that paper 1 and paper 2 were difficult so here we should see we should know that out of all the candidates those who are appearing for the exam 6% only will get the net 
and among them they will get the JRF. So it is not about the mass people who are there telling. It is correct that the questions were of moderate level. But only 6% student, if they find it moderate level, if they have performed well, then they will be selected in the selected candidate list. So it is the poll which was conducted in our group. And now we will move on to the next slide for an important thing to know. So why I said that it is important because on the other side, what some of the students are saying, the one of the candidates is telling, I think paper one was more difficult than two. That means paper two was easy or moderate for this candidate. Next, the candidate is telling subject paper is easy. That means the environmental science paper two was easy, but paper one this time is difficult. Similarly, 2022 and 2023 ke previous years say be tha subject paper. So that means paper two, these students are not having that much problem. But paper one was definitely having issues. That means the difficulty level was more. So here on the other side, we can see the candidates are also having the views that paper two was not difficult. Paper two, many questions came from 2022 and 2023, even if not the direct ones, but in twisted form. Now, after doing all the analysis, we have done a conclusion that results will favor whom? So which candidates will be favored from this examination, from this exam which was conducted? So we have made three points. That means the candidates, those who have performed data interpretation, paper one and paper two reading comprehension good in a calculated way, they will play a major role in getting net or getting JRF or not getting net or not getting JRF. So these three, those who have done well, they will be benefited for sure. Next is 100% attempted candidates. That means those who have attempted 100%, that means all the 150 questions, they will be having the benefit because even if some of the questions are getting wrong, there is no negative marking, but they have completed all the questions. So they will be having a certain edge over other candidates, those who have not completed 150 questions. But it is not that all of them will be benefited. Some of them, if they have left some question, but their accuracy is good. If they have attempted less question, three, four questions they have left, but their accuracy is good, then also they will be benefited. No need to worry about that. And the third point is geoscience and assertion reasoning. So those who have performed well by thinking a little bit in depth for the geoscience, assertion and reasoning, then they will be having the correct ones, correct answer, and they will be also favored in this exam. So in the end, I would say that don't lose hope. Let the answer key response sheet come out. We will again do for the cutoff thing, expected cutoff we will release. So till now, we are thinking maybe little bit the cutoff will be less as compared to the previous exam, but we can't say till we haven't seen the response sheet. So let us wait for the response sheet. Keep praying, don't lose hope. And if you want more such update, don't forget to subscribe the channel exactly. See you guys in our next video. Till then, keep smiling and believe in yourself.